Hey everybody, Nazi here and it's time to put our headsets on and get ready to take some calls in Smooth Operators. We're going to load our call centre, which is Nazi's Pools. Load. Uh, so yeah, a couple of people uh, noticed in the last video that I certainly need some more uh, travel. So the first thing, before I go on, is I'm going to add another elevator. Hope everyone out there is feeling fantastic. Me, I'm doing alright. I woke up quite recently and, um, what? Oh, it was $5,000 for an elevator? What in the blue? Okay, what in the blue blazes? Okay, well we'll we'll get an elevator. Certainly, we do need that. Uh, okay, got my cash back. Ten thousand we earned, and thousand bonus. Nice. We're gonna need that. I actually kind of wanted to get an outbound station rather than an elevator. Hmm. I'm gonna get the outbound station first, actually, before the uh, second elevator, because that'll give us the, uh, the bonus that we need to get uh, extra money. Hopefully, hopefully, anyway. Uh, buildings, so I'm going to get another operations and I'm going to put it there. Kalal Real Estate, of course. And we're going to go into the shop menu, operation staff, outbound agent. Outbound agent. We can't afford another one. Okay, well, we'll afford one soon. Uh, speed up, speed up. So I'm really happy that everyone seemed to, like, super enjoy the video, which is awesome. Oh, what's this? Hire 25 employees. Awesome. I'm going to hire another one right now. Outbound agent. That should be enough, I think, but I'm going to hire one more just to make sure that we, we can handle Outbound tomorrow. That is more than enough. I'm glad everyone enjoyed the video. Everyone seems to love it. Everyone seems to really like it when I play a workplace sim. I think, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I think people enjoy watching me toil in a, <laughs> in a workplace sim. How, how clean are these uh, cleaners going to get this today? I wonder. Clean, clean. Clean up faster, janitors. That's not clean enough. You've got three hours. I think they may be able to get through all the offices today, actually. They're, they're making good time here. Come on, you can do it. Upstairs, upstairs, you've got, you've got like three hours left to do that one room, which is a very dirty room. It's been unclean for like four days. Please, please clean it. You, go up there. Come on, come on. Get some cleaning done. You've got two hours. Please clean that office. One desk. Are they going to do it? No. No, you. You. Yes. That one desk. Just that one. I've, access, I've unlocked access to hire operational coaches. Okay. No. Okay, Jill wants to tell me something. Operational managers and coaches only go to agents and surrounding buildings. Make sure you cover all your operations buildings. Operational managers and coaches only go to agents and surrounding buildings. Make sure you cover all your operations buildings. Oh, what does that mean? That's going to be a bit of an annoyance. I feel like <laughs> I feel like that's going to come back to bite me. Okay, so here we go. We're we'll starting a brand new day at Nalzi's Pools. We're going to sell some good pools for Claw Real Estate. That's what we're doing. We're actually uh, we're managing all our uh, pool installations at Claw Real Estate, uh, <laughs> which I think is a great idea. Let's have a look at our shop menu. Let's slow down time a little bit while I look at the shop menu. So who can we hire? We can hire a coach. Operation coach cheers your agents and increases the mood. A coach will target only surrounding buildings. Right. Okay, a manager. Operations manager makes sure that the agents are doing what they should. Managed agents temporarily increase their productivity and earns more money. However, their mood drops. Yes, they certainly do with a manager floating around all the bloody time. Level 2 we can't get yet. What other staff can we get? None of these yet. Okay, we do need some managers. That is... That is true. We do need some managers. Annoyingly, because I have, um... Oh wait, no, there's a desk free here, isn't there? Shop menu. Uh, blah, 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 blah. uh service staff. No, wait, it's not service. Operation staff. Manager. Make sure they're doing what they should. Yeah. Mood drops. And this one is... Coach will surrender. Increases their mood. Hmm, okay. I'm going to get a manager. And put the manager here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, let's keep the day rolling. So that's a good desk there to have. I would kind of like to get rid of another staffer in there. Maybe replace an inbound agent from another team. And get a coach in there as well. Uh, yeah, okay. So here we are. Rocking another day. We're hoping that today we're going to sort out all our outbound queue. Which is... What we're hoping for is that is that our IT guy? 
Yeah, I know we need another elevator. I know we do. But we don't really have the cash for it. Oh my god, we've got two broken computers. Come on, IT guy. Three! They're all breaking. Look at this, my operational manager. One of your workers is sick and has gone home. Oh, really? Uh, who is sick? You? Where are you going? Thoughts. Not feeling so good. Hmm. Oh, yeah, really. Damn slow elevator. Can I upgrade the elevator? Upgrade. No can do. This upgrade is not available yet. Hi, project managed to unlock this feature. Fine. I'd rather upgrade an elevator than, um, you know, buy another one for five grand. But I'm so, I'm going to save up now. I'm going to I'm going to have to save up. Yeah, I can't upgrade that the rooms either. But we very much need a new elevator. I am aware of that. Don't worry, folks. It's just very expensive. Where's my IT guy? IT guy, we need you. All the computers are breaking. Come on, IT fella. Where, where did he go? We've got a thousand bucks. Our outbound staff are doing some work. Everyone's being slowed down by the elevator. I wish I had thought ahead of time and put an, eleva an elevator here. Like, just here in the middle. But I didn't. Because I'm a silly billy. I'm a silly billy goat. Yeah, he's fixing those computers. Let's speed up time a little bit. Nothing we can really do for now but wait for money to, you know, gather. IT guy, that took you ages. I might have to hire another IT guy. Outbound is getting done. Outbound is getting done. Nice job, everyone. Come on, finish those outbound calls. We can do it. We can do it. Another computer. Oh, two outbound computers are broken. No. All right, it's all up to Mr. IT man. What's his name? Jamie. Jamie. Jamie, you can do it. Go, Jamie. No, Jamie, come on. No, Jamie. Okay, ah, uh, no. We have three broken computers. Outbound. Oh, wait, we've got one person on outbound. Can he do it? No, he's gone home. Damn! That is, an that is annoying. I really thought we were going to do it today. Okay, well, we need another, um, we need another, uh, person, don't we? We need another thingy, you know, thingy person. 187 answers today, which is so close to getting the offered amount of calls. We're going to have 630 inbound calls, but that's fine. I want to work on, again, outbound done. Do I want to save the game? Of course. Shop menu. Let's slow down time a bit. So I really need, I think, another service staff. Another IT staffer. But there's no desks free. There's no desks free. I'm going to have to fire someone, I think. Outbound agent. Oh, Willie. No, we can't fire Willie. Willie, there's no Willie there as well. Uh, who's this here? Inbound Agent Curtis. Who's who's got the lowest like mood? Do you think? Close. I want that's got quite a low mood. That's a very low mood. Inbound Agent Ramon. Okay, uh, we're gonna fire Ramon. Goodbye, fireworker. Uh, yes, I'm sure. Employee has been fired. You got a fine of $500 from the union, claiming that the firing of room is not according to union rules. Hire HR managers to... What? They didn't tell me that Ramon was in a goddamn union? This game is awesome. I did not expect that, but I really do need an IT staffer there. Wow, I cannot believe that Ramon was in a union. Uh, right, okay. That surprised me. That surprised me a lot. Uh, I did what I could do. What's this Ramon today fired? It's a bit of this, a bit of that, you know. Jewel, hmm. Jewel, you are looking like you have a bit of a, what we call in Scotland, uh, Skyveritis. What? I got another fine. Another minus $300 fine. So I got $800 fine for firing someone. Ugh. We'll probably make, hopefully we'll make that back up because we really need another IT, um technician to fix these computers because they are out of order. Um, I'm happy to see that my manager was actually doing some good work, which is quite un uncommon for a, a call centre manager. Call, uh, call centre managers can be good, but call centre managers can be bad. Uh, what we'd call a team lead, uh, you can have ones that are... Is the phone ringing? At five in the morning? Jeez. Uh, you can have call centre team leads that are really good, but you can have ones that are just terrible. The terrible ones are just sit around doing nothing all day while, you know, your staff work and toil. And all the staff will become very resentful of that person because they're just sitting around doing nothing while you're doing all the hard work. Or they can be really awesome. Uh, I've unlocked project managers, okay. 
hire account project managers early on. It takes time to close a new deal and unlocking stuff. I would like to do that, but after getting all those fines, I uh, have a long way to go. Who's that there? Who's that in blue? Is that an outbound agent? A back office agent, of course, yeah. Right, so no firing people. Ah, there's my new, there's my new IT staff, Perry. Oh, Perry, what a cool name. Just like Matthew Perry. Maybe that is Matthew Perry. Oh my god, Matthew Perry? <laughs> you've, you've fallen from your great heights there, to be honest. He can do whatever he wants with all those um, paychecks from friends, huh? Uh, we need Jamie to come in as well and, and help with these computers because we have got a, a big problem on our hands. Um, they are exploding left, right and centre. Uh, I might have... I can't even afford... Ah, uh, there's Jamie. Jamie's working to fix these computers as well. I can't afford... Oh my god, they're all blowing up. Come on, you guys can do this. Fix the computers. I need to get... Wait, okay, nice, nice, nice. We've kind of got it all sorted. I think, yeah, 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 I think we're okay. Wow, his mood is so low. He's going to need a vacation soon, I bet. It's because he's doing so much work. This is a day of work for him. He's fixed, like, 15 computers so far. <laughs> right, Jamie, Jamie, you got this. Jamie, Perry, Perry, get up here. Where are you, Perry? Fix that. Nice, are you going upstairs? Where are you going? We need another elevator. I can't afford another elevator at the moment. Right, you fixing that computer up there? Nice job. Your mood is so low, you're going to have to go on vacation soon. Perry's fixing that one. Good job. Good job, guys. All the computers are fixed. Excellent job. One more. Don't go home. Don't go home. Don't go home. We've got one more computer to fix. No, they went home. Wow, that was a fast day. We did not get a lot of calls done today. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my goodness. I really need another elevator. Really do need another elevator. Do I want to save the game? Yes. Okay, okay. It was a mistake to put Jamie here. Because he's not on a floor with any computer. You know, he's an IT guy, but he's he's there. And he should be, he has to go over there, he has to go in an elevator to get back to his desk, which is a bit of a pain. I think I want to make another, I know, I know I need another elevator. But I think I need another building. How did I lose money? I need another building. I need a service building, an office, authorized for office staff. All staff can work here, but they won't like it. Why won't they like it? Office staff, who are office staff? These people? Oh, I kept manager's project, my I see, oh, I see. I would like that, I would love that. I would love that, to be honest. I really want a new service station, and I want to put the service station, um, I want to put the service station, like, here. You've unlocked access to account managers. Uh, make sure you place your staff in appropriate buildings, otherwise they will feel like they don't belong. Okay, I will do. I'll make sure I do that. We've cleaned up most of the desks. I think this one's a little dirty, but that's the only one. Good job, uh, janitors. Janitors are working hard. Right, okay, there's Perry. Going to fix that last computer. Nice. Fix that. Fix, 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 fix. Good job. All the computers are fixed. Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this manager here. His mood is so low. Thoughts. I'm too tired to work. Damn slow elevator. Damn slow elevator. Yeah, we get it. This elevator is slow. Um, how do we change his mood then? Give your employees some time to recover from working so hard. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yep, have a vacation. You've got an employee vacation and will not come back to work for three days. Okay. Right, now I'm going to give... Who am I going to give? I'm going to give you a vacation as well. I'm going to give uh, Perry a vacation because if Perry goes on vacation now, then hopefully Jamie will uh, take con uh, care of the call centre while Perry is on vacation because we can't have both our IT staff off on the same day. That is, that is not going to work. That's not going to fly. Uh, hopefully, I think we might need... Yeah, we need, another, we need another staffer. Oh, goodness, we need someone else. I can't fire anyone, though, because the, the union will get on me. This is harder than it looks. <laughs> no, no, this is quite easy. It's quite fun, though. I'm, I'm actually loving this game. So I didn't mention it in the previous video, but this game is very cheap. Uh, this game is £1.99, and you can buy it on Desura. Uh, so very, very cheap if you want to give it a shot yourselves. I really need another elevator. Should I save for the elevator now? No, we need more IT staff. Look, two more computers are broken. Ah... Uh. 
No, no, I can't, I can't get an, I can't get an elevator. Is the elevator going to fix it though? Is the elevator going to fix these broken computers? Is he going to last for three days on that mood? I don't know. All I can do is hope. All I can do is just hope that that um, what's his face, Jamie, will be okay. Fact, fact, fact. Hold on, Jamie. Can I change your um, salary? Change salary. I'm going to increase it. By ten dollars, because you've done such a great job. Sally, tomorrow is going to be fifty dollars. Hopefully, that will improve his mood a little bit. I hope. I don't know if that will work. I, I really need a new elevator, though. I, I realize that a lot. Three point seven grand. Oh, outbound's done. Good job, outbound staffers. You fantastic, fantastic people. You've done a great job. You've done an absolutely fantastic, stellar job here. And look at you, staying, at, staying on late, are you? Okay. Right, we're going to have to uh, fix these two computers. Jamie will do that tomorrow. Can I, in the options... No, I can't. I wanted to see people's mood all the time. I want to see, like, permanent mood, but I can't do that, I guess. Um, okay, my objectives, what's this? I'm going home. Your first resignation, okay. Oh, you can actually see all the things you haven't done. Okay, cool. Get your first account manager. Resignation, installed recreational facilities, okay, hotshot employer, contractor, yeah, tower, build an eight-story tower, rich, 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 gold watch, keep an employee for ten days. Oh, we're coming up to day eight, so we'll get that soon. Telemania, 500 calls in a day, mm, not yet. 750 calls in a day, yeah, right. Upgrade ten employees, staple gods, handle 200 BO tasks. We've certainly done that, surely, by now. Upgrade 10 buildings, Tycoon, run your company for 10 days, that's coming up soon, that is coming up soon, two days and we'll get that. I'm saving up for the elevator, I'm saving up for the elevator, maybe a mistake, look at that, look at that, oh we actually lost, oh, we lost $100, oh dear, it's because our call volumes are getting absolutely out of control, like back office is so many, what are they paying us for back office? Revenue. Okay, revenue is a thousand dollars we got from inbound. Ah, we do need. We do need. Right. Okay. Do I want to save the game? Yeah. My God, I've been recording for ninety minutes already. Time just flies when you're playing this game. I swear. I need more agents, but I need another elevator. I need. I need too much stuff. This feels too hard, actually. It feels like you have to juggle too much. I I would say though, in my experience working at call centers, not achieving your SLA for a long time is okay. It takes a long time to get the right staffing levels. It's uncommon that every day you would get more calls though. You know, if I was working, so if this was a real call center and I was working at Nazi's Pools for Claw Real Estate, I would call the client up and I'd say, hi, is that Claw Real Estate? Yeah, yeah, we had 600 calls offered today. We only answered 100. We're still working on staffing levels. The client wouldn't then say, okay, well, tomorrow we're going to give you 700 because then they're just throwing money away. You know, they should hire, they would direct the calls to another uh, service station, uh, service uh, center, like somewhere else. I can now hire human resources, okay. All employees get mandatory $1 salary increase every 10 days. Oh, really? Well, how lucky for them. Well, there goes my bonus that I was getting. So, it's unusual that I would have to just deal with the fact that I'm getting more calls every day. It would be a case of the, the project manager who I've given a holiday, or well, maybe, maybe I don't have a project manager yet, maybe that's something that they could help with. They would um, they would sort that out, and they would say, look, you know, why are you sending us all these calls? We're never going to answer them. Uh, oh, his mood is actually better. Jamie's mood is better. Awesome. Okay, well, that is kind of, uh, kind of awesome. With three broken computers already today. Jamie has got his work cut out from four broken computers. Oh dear. Right, get to work, Jamie. I'm waiting for a thousand dollars and I'm gonna buy another elevator. I'm gonna put it over here on this side. Um good job, Jamie. Good job. You're doing you're doing fantastic work here. <laughs> Poor that this is the busiest IT staffer in the world here, I tell you. Five hundred bucks, we're getting a new elevator. Trust me, you guys are gonna love this elevator. 300, you can do it everyone! You can do it! 200! 200! 100! Come on! Don't have all the computers broke! Done! 500! 5,000 even! Right, okay, shop menu. Transport! Elevator! 
There. Okay. Everyone use that elevator now, okay? Yes! Good job. Okay, then. Whew. Right, now what do we need? We need... Who's at this desk? It's a janitor, IT staff, janitor, janitor. Right, okay, who's at this? Inbound agent. Inbound agent. Inbound agent, right. Who do we have? We don't have... We definitely need... Inbound agent. Who is? Who works here? Fifteen dollar salary. Who, wait, who who works? Gallon is at home. You, Gallon, you're getting fired. Yeah, yeah. We're getting oh, we got minus <laughs> minus six hundred and sixty six dollars. Okay, I know, I know, but I need another IT person. I need another IT person to work in this place because we are going to have a serious problem if we don't have these computers fixed. And, and, and that's something I've learned, so we need an IT person per floor, basically. So one per floor is, is I think, the, the rule that we should go- No way! No way! Did we not do outbound today? Did we miss it by, like, one call? Oh my goodness. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Two calls! We missed two calls! We missed our bonus! Ah, 714 calls tomorrow. This is just getting out of control. Don't want to save the game yet. Okay, ran the company for 10 days. We got $500. Okay, cool. Well, what I'm going to do then, one of your workers is sick and has gone home. The janitor? Okay. Uh, game menu, we're going to hire... Oh, no, no, no. no. Shop, shop menu. We're going to hire uh, another... Uh, sorry, service staff. IT staff. Yes. Oh, $600 they get paid. Okay. Alright, we'll have to wait for that then. I thought that was enough, but it is not. Come on, people. Work hard. There's only two of you tonight. One of you had to go home sick. I would like to skip this, actually. It'd be nice if I could skip the night time. Just watching janitors clean isn't exactly the um, the, the ideal definition of fun, but, um, you know, it's okay. Clean, clean, clean. Yeah, good job. Good job, janitors. You're doing, you're doing alright. You've got three offices to go, though. It's only two of you tonight. You can do it. I hope. What do, what do you keep going back to your desk for? I don't understand. You're just checking Reddit. That's what you're doing. You're going back. You're going to check Reddit. I'm onto you. Who is that? You, who are you? I missed you. J Milan. I'm onto you, Milan. Okay. Two whole floors didn't get cleaned. Oh, no. Wait. Okay. Are the elevators crowded? Change your worker's schedule to evenly distribute the, the loads throughout the day. I would like to, but I need a HR person to do that, apparently. Uh, so, HR person seems to be a good idea. Kenneth, inbound agent with the client Claw Real Estate, has resigned. I'm going to enter a beauty contest. I'm moving to Green and Patches. So, I didn't even have to fire Gallon or whoever the hell I fired. Your first resignation, we got $750, hooray! Okay, uh, game menu, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Shop, IT staff. There. Okay, we got a new IT staff person. Hopefully they're gonna start work. Um, should I get another IT staff person? Or is, it, or is that too many? Is, is that gonna be too many? We can't have so many computers broken. This is just too much. I feel like I need another IT staff person, actually. Yeah, look, all these computers are breaking, and Jamie's going to go on holiday soon. I think we're going to have to get someone else. If we earn enough dollars, I will buy another IT staff person to help these people out. This is a real problem, though, in, um, in call centers. Like, okay, not like this, but you would have... Um... Why are you sad already? Oh, it's because you're at the desk. Uh... You would have um, computers break all the time, and you know people would have to go and work at another station, or they'd have to go and work somewhere else. And I, I've been in a call center before where like all the computers have been broken, and there was just nowhere to work. It was pretty terrible, uh, but it does happen. It does happen. So this is a very real problem, and I'm glad to see that my uh, my staff are, are working on it very hard. Look at this down here in the top in the bottom corner. You girls are doing fantastic. What's your name? What's your name here? What's, this is my new staff person. What's your name here? Damn. So I've got uh, Jamie, Perry, and uh, Williams. It must be last names then. 
Jamie doesn't sound like our last name. Uh, look at this person, it's doing fantastic. Their mood has severely increased. Maybe it's because I bought more people in to kind of handle the workload. Right there, all the computers are fixed. Oh boy. Right, and the, the elevators are getting used. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. Outbound, you have done very bad work today. <laughs> I'm not impressed with that workload today. Okay, well... Is that us for the day? Yes. And here come our janitors. Oh, welcome back, uh, Levi. Did you have a good day off yesterday? I hope so. We were here toiling. Right, so what do we need to work on next? I'd say the thing we need to work on next is... Um... Inbound? Inbound, maybe? We really need to work on our inbound. Or is inbound never... I don't know if we're ever going to catch up to inbound. I think maybe back office. We lost 512 back office. Back office is the biggest problem. We've got lowest back office um, staff. Right, so back office I think is our next thing to work on. Thanks for watching everyone. All the computers are fixed, hooray! Join us next time where we'll work on actually answering some more calls. I've been Nelsie, you've been fantastic. If you enjoyed the video and you like the series, then please do click like, and of course, leave your thoughts below, any comments you have to leave, and I'll catch you next time for more of the same. See you all later. Bye. This is my outro song so that the vid doesn't end too who suddenly. Be sure to click like and fave and drop a comment if you think that you want to. Oh, oh, and there's tons of other stuff for you to click in the in the background for you. So go out, go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching the vid, you beautiful people. That is all for now, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you all later. Oh god. Bye. Seriously, why are you still watching this? Go and subscribe and drop a comment below. God damn you, stop watching video. Click fave, drop a comment, I think you want to, but if you don't, well, that's your opinion, I guess. Not clean enough. You've got three hours. I think they may be able to get through all the offices today, actually. They're, they're making good time here. Come on, you can do it. Upstairs, upstairs, you've got, you've got like three hours left to do that one room, which is a very dirty room. It's been unclean for like four days. Please, please clean it. You, go up there. Come on, come on. Get some cleaning done. You've got two hours. Please clean that office. One desk. Are they gonna do it? No, no, you, you, yes. That one desk, just that one. Hey everybody, Nalza here, and it's time to put our headsets on and get ready to take some calls in Smooth Operators. We're gonna load our call center, which is Nalzi's pools. Load. Uh, so yeah, a couple of people uh, noticed in the last video that I certainly need some more uh, travel. So the first thing, before I go on, is I'm going to add another elevator. Hope everyone out there is feeling fantastic. Me, I'm doing alright. I woke up quite recently and, um, what? Oh, it's $5,000 for an elevator? What in the blue, okay, what in the blue blazes? Okay, well, we'll, we'll get an elevator, certainly. We do need that. Uh, okay, got my cash back, 10,000 we earned. I seem to like super enjoy the video, which is awesome. Oh, what's this? Hire 25 employees, awesome. I'm gonna hire another one right now, out an agent. That should be enough, I think, but I'm gonna hire one more, just to make sure that we, we can handle Outbound tomorrow. That is more than enough. I'm glad everyone enjoyed the video, everyone seems to love it. Everyone seems to really like it when I play a workplace sim. I think, I don't know, I don't know what it is, I think people enjoy watching me toil in a, <laughs> in a workplace sim. How, how clean are these uh, cleaners going to get this today, I wonder. Clean, clean. Clean up faster, janitors. That's 1,000 bonus, nice, we're going to need that. I actually kind of wanted to get an outbound station rather than an elevator. Hmm. I'm going to get the outbound station first, actually, before the uh, second elevator because that'll give us the, uh, the bonus that we need to get uh, extra money, hopefully, hopefully anyway, uh, buildings, so I'm going to get another operations and I'm going to put it there, 
Kalal Real Estate, of course. And we're going to go into the shop menu, operation staff, outbound agent. Outbound agent. We can't afford another one. Okay, well, we'll afford one soon. Uh, speed up, speed up. So I'm really happy that everyone's... I've, access, I've unlocked access to hire operational coaches. Okay. No! Okay, Jill wants to tell me something. Operational managers and coaches only go to agents and surrounding buildings. Make sure you cover all your operations buildings. Operational managers and coaches only go to agents and surrounding buildings. Make sure you cover all your operations buildings. Oh, what does that mean? That's going to be a bit of an annoyance. I feel like <laughs> I feel like that's going to come back to bite me. Okay, so here we go. We're starting a brand new day at Nalzi's Pools. We're going to sell some good pools for Claw Real Estate. That's what we're doing. We're actually uh, we're managing all our 